Hi and welcome back to Grow with the Jan Family. I'm Anjali and today we're going to be reacting to record-breaking Tully in Pune, India. Yay! So we did, if you haven't seen it, the 100 Street Food Challenge. So this is the best food review show ever. Yeah. Matt Stone. So we did the 100 Street Food Challenge, um, which we knew he was going to fail at that. 100 <laughs> US dollars in Mumbai. Um, but the food looked amazing. And yeah. we've also done his... Um, 50,000 people in the Golden Temple. Oh, yeah. That was amazing as well. I mean, the food looked unbelievably yummy, and the temple is beautiful. So this is another one that was recommended, and uh, we're so excited to watch it because we love this. We love Anji food. and I love watching this. We don't get the authentic food unless we go to um, my husband's sister's house, and his sister and his mom make... Um, traditional food for us otherwise the stuff here you know it's okay so, so. but you know homemade you know is always the best but we're excited to watch this to see another yummy food from india yeah Last time, the best ever India road trip sprang into action, kicking off from Mumbai, then heading to Pune, Mumbai. where we yeah. found India's most unexpected menu. They said you can go in the emu cage, but don't get close to them. Today, we're in Pune. <laughs> Some call nice. it the Oxford of the East, with the most universities of any city. Wow. It's a mix of a lot of cultural, oh, modern, crazy. IT, yeah. student life. So Pune has been the hub for education for a very long time. Pune does it big. And today we're after the holy grail of hugeness, Auji Kauji's mind-melting wow. tali platter, piled high with over 50 That's items. Huge. Each ingredient consists of at least 10 to 15 things in it. Oh my God. But I'm not taking this on alone. Sartok from the channel Chow Down My Lane will be by my side. You know all the coolest places. I'm so happy yeah. I'm with you. From clay pot concoctions loaded with mysterious mm. ingredients. Mm. Do you cool. eat that part? To Pune's finest street food. Even though it hurts your hands, you have to have it super hot. So prepare to chow down with two of the most huggable dudes in the food show biz. Today we're taking on Pune's biggest eats. morning, time for breakfast. Forget your waffles and your Captain Crunch. Yeah, exactly. This is Jaskas Misal, serving this classic Maharashtrian breakfast for the last five years. I am in the kitchen with my dude Akshay. Sir, Hi. thank you so much for inviting us back here. We're here because you have this really unique food, something I've never seen before. Basically, we are uh, into snacks type food. Misal is hard to define since its recipe can change in every region. Mm -hmm. I do know that it's served hot. It looks really yeah. spicy. Is that yeah. spicy? No, it's not. It looks like spicy because it's masala. Ah, the red, something is making yeah. it. What is making yeah. it red? It's red chili. <laughs> okay. Red chili. But it's not it's hot. Red chili. When people get the dish, it has the charcoal inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you eat that part? No, no. The charcoal is removed it now. Okay, I thought it was missile. Like a... <laughs> <laughs> this smoked misal will be made by his father, the creator of the recipe, starting with a clay pot layered first with mashed potato, crispy gram flour sieve, diced onion, mint, coriander, and then a small vessel containing ghee or clarified butter. This is where the magic occurs. He's grabbing the charcoal, blow it off a little bit. Oh, look at that. All that all smokiness is just going to affect the yes. flavor inside. Oh I cannot wait to try this out. Oh, look at that. They're oh, still smoking. Wow. He takes out with his hand that mini clay pot, and then he's going to put in, well, he was calling it gravy earlier. Gravy. So first, it's not hot at all. But the inside it will be. We need to mix it up. So we have the onion, potato base, that kind of puffed rice, which is going to be soaking up all these juices here. This is how it should become. Let's try it out. Cheers. Whoa, mm. that is Delicious. <laughs> yeah. And it's very spicy. And that's why you serve this with the special bread called oh. the pao and have this mixture so that that spicy level goes down. Let's try it out. Yeah. Or some yogurt. Mm. Maybe right. lassi afterwards. That yeah. out oh, they the have smoothies. Spicy mm -hmm. yeah. This guy knows. Is this yogurt? Yes. Is this for the I end? Some start. people have it in the end and some people who find it very spicy, they mix it mm -hmm. in. Alright, I'm going to try it out too. 
chicken soothes the spicy part of it. So many great combinations so just good. in this yes. one simple plate. This is my favorite dish in Pune. Is so everyone doing the smoke though? No, no. no. You'll find a lot of different combinations. The gravy itself changes probably every 10, 15 kilometers. The basic essence also changes at times, but the core remains the same. Man, this is a great start, but we're just getting started. There are a lot of things to get to come. Check out this giant veg tolly. We'll get to that soon. But first, yeah, looks... street food. Street food. <laughs> There's nothing better than a quick, affordable wow. bite. And Sabu Danavada is one yeah, of the best in Pune. Right this stall started 20 years ago. Each morning, mom makes the batter and dad fries it and sells it. Over the years, their fried creation has helped put their kids through college. So what time did you start this? 5.30. Make this. Oh. And your wife now is sleeping. Yes? <laughs> so now she's gone back home and cooking for the family. Oh my gosh. I, and by the way, I didn't mean she's lazy. I mean, she's got to be tired. It's so much work. Yep. Sabu Danavada. Make bowls from the soak sago mixture and then fry them up. Serve with green mint coriander chutney and coconut chutney. The texture on the outside is like all these little balls that's really bumpy and looks crispy. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it just tastes like American hash browns. I mean, very crispy, salty, potato -y. And then it's just a little bit more soft, mushy on the inside, almost like mashed potato. Mm -hmm. And this is a coconut mm -hmm. chutney? Mm -hmm. Chutney, yes. All right, here we go. Whoa. Even though it, it hurts your hands, you have to have it super hot. Yes. That makes a big difference. My gosh, look at that. Look inside there. Just great mm. textures. And then with the chutney, nice. amazing texture. Yeah. 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 Fresh, slightly sweet coconut Peanut. chutney. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So good. We have reached our final destination now. How do you say the name of this restaurant? This place is called Auji Kauji. Auji means come and eat and go out happy. And the reason we are here is for the biggest mm -hmm. veg tolly in the world. Is right that right? <laughs> You've already done this. this you said you ate about 15%. So, <laughs> so you ate like this much awesome. of one. Yes. And I had six more friends. Ah. who came over and we could finish that tally. Friends, so tell me more about this friend thing. These are people who just hang out with you voluntarily because they like you. Kauji <laughs> Kauji's like Big Boss name. Platter. Yeah. It costs around $60, oh, wow. but considering it could feed a whole but group of um, how much food is friends, that? I think he called yeah. it, seems like a great deal to me. Mm -hmm. Kauji Kauji owner and Big Boss creator Rajveer swung by to answer my burning questions. How many people does this feed? 10 people, at least. That's pretty good. I think it's perfect because there's so many options. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have to choose one thing. Because I'm like that too. I don't want to have like just one kind of meal. I want to yeah. share and try different things. And mm -hmm. here you have the Big Boss with how many items on it? At least 32. That's pretty good. <laughs> the Big Boss Tali is served with 12 uniquely flavored paratha breads, each made fresh to order. Vegetarian ingredients stuffed inside of dough, this, flattened, this then fried on the flat top. Each bowl like contains a different signature dough, blend of yum. Down. I can't right. believe you have it's 12. It's like a flat samosa. It's 12 on here, 12 yeah. unique different flavors. 12 unique flavors. And, and each like ingredient of each paratha consists of at least 10 to 15 things in it. Oh my god. Can I ask a quick question? Please don't be shy about this. No, no. Where do I get boots with like a gold toe? Can you show these? And then you've got like this spike. Oh, that's a good name. I'm a big fan of boots, so I got it from the way. Oh, you're like a boot collector. Yeah. Assembly of the tali is a mm, crucial step. So it starts with a 36-inch platter, first building the outside edges, lining it with over a dozen subjis. Vegetable gravies or curries. Okay, all those subjis are ready. 16 different ones. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Then sweet dishes, seven mm, of them, sweets, plus yogurt and yogurt. white butter. And that's just the outside. Oh my lord, so all the pratas that we're cooking up, 12 of them are going on the platter now. This is my kind of art right here. <laughs> this is like a painting. Three type of rice are coming. This is veg pulao, this is jeera rice, masala rice. Wow, look at that. Just grating a ton of cheese. And is that the whole stick? No, no, no. No, okay, just like half. Yeah. And then some salad, oh, yeah, vegetable. Some salad and papad. A lot of people are gonna be in the comments like, yeah, Matt Stoney, call Matt Stoney, he'll eat it. 
No, he won't. Maybe. I don't know. He can come to India and try it out. One thing I learned last time <laughs> when I had another big tali that in Mumbai is do not ever try to do an eating challenge with Indian food. <laughs> Indian food is some of the most like filling, heavy food I've ever tried. Very That's delicious, so but this is all healthy because it's vegetarian, and right? It's so we got to jump into this. Yummy. Here is paratha number one. So I'm going to try just yes. a little paratha alone. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Indian prata. This is all Indian. Yeah, I would hope so. This is paneer <laughs> butter masala. You dip it like that? Yes. That's incredible flavor. An explosion of Indian spiciness. Essentially, the cheese that's used in so many dishes here in India. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Oh, uh -huh. I love cauliflower. Oh, man. That is the right way to make cauliflower. <laughs> Spicy, thick, mm. tomatoey gravy. Wow. Now, one of the standout things is the dal. It's a very North Indian Punjabi flavor. So that with the rice, that tastes very good for everyone. It's very good. I mean, it's uh, familiar flavors of beans and rice, but just with so many Indian spices so many and a ton of cumin in there. Everybody is wondering what this is. This is potato. Oh, yeah. Everyone's stopped caring. Everyone's wondering what this is. Paneer, again. It's mm -hmm. so smoky. I love that. That's one of my favorites ever. Everyone is wondering what is going on here. It's green. Why? Let's try it out. Yeah. Is it spinach? Mm. Oh, okay. Oh. I was wondering But he needs a friend. Well, look at that. Chole mm. on the spinach parada. Do you have bale bale? Yeah, then you have to do a Punjabi dance. You have to do a Punjabi dance. Bale bale. Bale bale. Bale bale. Do you say something? You just the say. The moment you. No, no, that's what they do. I swear for the <laughs> remainder of this trip, any food that is a 9 uh, out of 10 oh, yeah. or higher. Bole bole. Bole bole. Bole bole. This is a 10 on 10. Bole bole. Something that's really below 5. Yeah. So, so we do this. We're gonna jump ahead a few levels. Seven types of dessert. I have not tried this. It's like a gulab jamun. It's like the in a rubbery. Oh, in a rubbery. Let's try it out. Oh, yeah. But it's like a new yogurt oh, sauce. It's like silky, creamy, yeah. just sweet enough. And then that nice bready gulab jamun. Now this is a bread-based dessert. The normal bread that we use every day. With rubbery? Yes. yes. All right, cheers. Oh, game over. Bale bale. Mm. Bale bale. <laughs> We're gonna try a little bit more and then share it with all of our friends and the people behind the camera who, you know, they work so hard. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you saw the camera shake. Yeah. They were Man, for first it. of all, I want to give you a nice dirty handshake. Thank you so much Thank for you. showing me around your hood. It's really been a pleasure. It's a small city and people normally don't come here. It's yeah. full of uh, culinary delight that you can have. And I hope you enjoy it. We had such a good time. So many cool things, unique food, and just, you know, I mean, it like, looks what the heck? Look at this. <laughs> Next time on the best ever India road trip, we say goodbye to Pune and head south to Goa, where we find the most unique ingredients I'd never expect to see in in India. It's got red blood, so it's, the taste is different. It's more like meat. It's more beefy, right? Beefy. Check out his channel, Chow Down My Lane, on YouTube and every other social media. He is doing food reviews in India, but also he's going global now. Just went to Dubai. And many more fun videos to come. All right, who wants to eat? Come. <laughs> I wanted to see everybody eat it. Well, then there would be no one to hold the camera. Oh, they could just prop it, <laughs> right? That looked so yummy. So good. Yeah. I mean, like, I just want to go to India right now on a plane and eat all that food. If it wasn't a couple thousand dollars to hop on a plane right now <laughs> and go to India, we would be there. Like, that was, like, a bigger dish than, like, Thanksgiving. Like, I thought I made a big plate of food on Thanksgiving. Um, you and know, we just made buy that for Thanksgiving. Uh, vegetarian, too, but, Yeah. That would be one of those things like our family and and daddy would have to bring cousins. Like there's no way, because like he said at the beginning, like Indian food is really heavy, and I yeah. think because it's so it's fresh, good. and not just because it was vegetarian, but I think it's like so fresh and it's so filling. It's so, so yummy. yummy. Like I wish we could have smelt it through the TV. But that would have been worse. It. But um, it you know, looks... just like put your hand through the TV. Mm -hmm. It looks and so it. good. I like that they did show other people that were eating smaller. Yeah, ones. I just see, smaller you know, versions like a of kid it. Version, mini one. Yeah, not a not too many. We want to try some bunch of different things, but yeah, I don't know that big one. No, yeah, <laughs> unless we brought a bunch of family with us, like you said, ten people. So Jaden is a picky eater, guys. I know you guys think he, he should be here for this video, but He's he won't even eat rice. 
So he's very picky. We're working on him, but yeah. he's very picky. Anjali will try pretty much any food, sweet, vegetable, fruit. Daddy's brought stuff home from Indian shops that he's we've never good. seen before. And he's, you know, told us what it was. And it was Anjali, like an apple. And yeah, was... that one. I forget what it's called, though. I don't know what it's called. Um, and Noah. No, he likes to eat the food off of Daddy's plate. So he likes mm-hmm. the spicy, flavorful, yummy stuff, too. So... Um, and I'm willing to try that. That just looked absolutely amazing. So, good. so we cannot wait. So keep sending this wonderful links. I mean, these are just amazing. And I'd like to see from different cities. So now we've seen a little Mumbai street food. This is Pune. Videos out there from different cities. Yeah. If we find them, send them our way because we'd like send to us yummy food. see some of the other ones. Yeah, see what else is out there that we've missed. Though we haven't seen too. This is the first time we've seen a few sweets on there. Yeah, but that's I know true. There are more out there, and um, so yeah, keep sending them. They are yummy and delicious, and we like watching them even though we can't eat them until we come (laughs) so keep us uh wishing we were in india right yes so i hope you guys like this and don't forget to check out our patreon page that we just started and we also have facebook and twitter and if you want to send us anything we have a p.o box right and join our wonderful family so if you haven't subscribed that's down below patreon's down below and that like button is also down below (laughs) like and (laughs) and we'll hopefully see you guys again tomorrow bye bye